Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to Piggy Time. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my guinea pigs enclosure. So before we get into the video, I would just ask that you guys subscribe to the channel Milky Bunny. Um, this is the same person as Rory Rat Care, but unfortunately their channel was taken down. So they had to start completely over with a brand new channel. So I'm just trying to get them a few more subscribers because I can't imagine how difficult it must be to have your entire channel taken away from you. So before I give you guys the tour, I would just like to tell you that there is going to be a part two to the pet quotes video. If you guys haven't seen it, I can link it in the iCards. Um, and so if you'd like to send in a quote, that would be greatly appreciated. You can email it to piggytime3 at gmail.com or you can um, just upload it onto your channel and let us know when you've done so. So now it is time to begin talking about my guinea pig cage. It is 30 square feet and the loft is four square feet. And the grids that I used are from Amazon, and I can link them in the description. They were made to be a shelving unit, but I instead used them for my guinea pig cage, and it was $40 to buy it. And the entire room is fenced in with baby gates. You can see one right there, and there's a baby gate right over there. The reasoning for this is because I have a puppy who is very crazy, and we decided it would be safest for the piggies to keep her out of the room. There's also a dog playpen that runs around here. That is for my older dog as we do let her into this room. So she can't go over the fence and it just keeps the piggy safe. So first there is this little hay corner right here. It is two square feet just added onto the cage. Um, and it has a hay rack as well as a hay pile. It has fleece with a towel underneath. There's also fleece with a towel underneath right here. And that just makes sure that it absorbs properly. Here is the piggy's water bottle with a little washcloth underneath so that their paws don't get too wet. In this corner we have a hammock and it has a fleece pad underneath. The pigs don't really go in the hammock too much but they love hiding underneath it. Here are two separate bowls that I use for pellets and vegetables. I use them kind of interchangeably, I don't have a set one for each food. Then if you turn around over here you can see the rest of the cage. We're going to start over here with the strawberry Heidi. It came with a base, but I cut it out because the fleece pad it came with was not very absorbent, and I prefer to just have an open on the bottom. Here are an assortment of toys. This one says guinea pig on it, and I think it's very cute. Next, we have this tunnel. It used to be an alfalfa tunnel. For those of you who don't know, alfalfa is not safe for adult guinea pigs. However, I've had the tunnel for a long time. I got it when they were babies. And by now, most of the hay is completely gone. There's not really a need to get rid of it. Next up, this Heidi is actually the first Heidi that my piggies ever had. It is just a simple wooden Heidi, and the entrance on the other side I also cut out. My piggies very much like this Heidi to sleep in and run through. Then, underneath the loft, you can see Ty here. Underneath the loft, there is um, this little corner hide, which I just turned into some fringes to offer protection when they're going underneath the loft. And then we have this little cuddle cup. It was actually a present to me. The, then we have a little fleece pad in here, just because sometimes it gets dirty. And it's difficult to wash the cuddle cup, but it's very easy to wash fleece pads. Then we have this little hidey right here. This is from the brand Night Angel, which is a very high quality brand that sells hamster and guinea pig hideys. I got this one from my aunt. Then we have this kind of ramp setup thing and it's bent to save space. I think it gives the piggies more area to run around in. It is also held up by this little hidey that sits in the middle and the piggies love hiding both underneath the ramp over here and under the hidey right there. Now here is a stuffed dog. The thing with stuffed animals is if you think there's even a slight possibility of your guinea pigs chewing a stuffed animal, then I definitely would not recommend having a stuffed animal. However, my guinea pigs have had this in their cage for a very long time. I do keep an eye on them, but they have never really had any interest in destroying it, so I would consider it safe for them. Next up, we have this loft area. My guinea pigs really like their loft area, and it is their main place for hay. While they do have a lot of hay downstairs, they just really like this for whatever reason. They have um, hay piles underneath here, and then I'm not sure if you can tell very easily, but this is a bent CNC grid that I'm using as a hay rack. So this is a baby blanket from when I was a baby, and 
Underneath it is a towel that I thrifted. I get a lot of my fleeces and towels thrifted just because it's cheaper and it's better for the earth. And they also have a really good selection. So I would highly recommend that. Just being careful that you thoroughly clean them because sometimes they can have mites on them, which can be unsafe for your guinea pigs. This Heidi right here is like a little tent. It is made of a bent CNC grid and just some fleece on top. There, Ty is demonstrating it. I think this is a really cute fleece pattern, which was also from when I was younger. So thank you so, so much for watching. Here is an overview of the entire cage together. If you watched all the way up until this point, you can comment down below, Ty is a cute guinea pig for a shout out. The first person who comments this will get announced in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.